to work. And uh, the disinfotainment must be working because uh, the people I talk to. who don't, you know, read or look at or even know about insider reports and stuff like that. They, uh, they're clueless. Um, not that I don't think, you know, Benghazi Gate is, uh, important. I think, I think it would be, um, uh, it would be good if we could oust the uh, the bad players from Washington, but I don't think this country has the political will to do it. Plus, we're so demoralized culturally that even if we did put, you know, homemaker and, you know, small business gym in, uh, in the seats of office as public servants, the money is so corrupt that they, they fast just lose their way. I mean, I, the, thing, the, the whole thing is too far gone. This doesn't end with uh, political upheaval. It ends with the nuclear inferno. That's just all there is to that. Uh, you know, most people are so sheltered from what's really going on. It, it, I myself sometimes even have to remind myself just how far gone this country is because it doesn't seem to be happening in your day-to-day -day life, but trust me, <laughs> we are in a world of hurt, and it's fast becoming a nightmare. You know, the so-called American dream fast becoming the globalist nightmare. I, uh, I can't hardly believe it half the time, but, you know, I, I, that's one of the benefits of, you know, having one foot in the sticks. Uh, you become a little bit isolated and insulated from what's really going on, you know. Um, here in Texas, we don't, we're not hurting nearly as bad as most of the country. Most of the country is devastated by this uh, so-called economic downturn. Not a recession, folks. It's a full-blown depression. We've been over 20% unemployment. Actually, I think we're we're edging on 30, 33% unemployment. Real numbers. I'm not talking about the uh, adjusted government numbers. Uh, there are a ton of people, long-term unemployed people, you know, who have been ousted from the uh, uh, the unemployment doles, but they don't have any job. They're just stuck. again, and I don't have any more wiggle room. I've been wiggled right out. <clears throat> you know, I've been wiggled right out. I don't have any. I can't pinch another penny here. I can't pinch another penny there. You know. And the tax, you know, the, uh, the 
tax codes is a stinking joke. A stinking joke, flat on its face. Uh, you know, Pratt Paul. It's a joke. It's written against us. It always has been written against us. And it's slowly been, you know, turning the. Would watch the traffic. They're just slowly turning the, uh, the the tension on the tourniquet tighter and tighter and tighter to the point where it's nearly cut the limb off. You know, we're all hurting. It's not just me. I know it. I talk to people. That, you know, nearly every day. We're talking about man. I can't pinch another penny. I'm hurting. I am hurting. You know. So even here in Texas, even though things are better here than in other places. It's still, it's tight. It's real tight. The money's straight run out. The money has just straight run out. And we're about to see, we're about to see hyperinflation on an unprecedented scale. I mean, we've never had all the countries of the world doing the exact same thing, which is just debasing the currency. They're all doing it. It's a race to the bottom. You want to talk about giant sucking sounds. I mean, this is the... This is the battle of the ba vacuum cleaner banks, I'm telling you. They're just sucking it all up and leaving the masses indentured forever. You're never getting out of this. Doesn't matter if you have a hundred generations beyond this, you will never pay this debt off. And it's a total debasement of the biblical principle of a jubilee. The releasing of debts. This is why this this what we're going through right now is a lesson in Torah. This is what happens when you don't release the debts. Letting that sink in. You have to have a day of release. Twice a century. Yahweh knew. You don't lend on interest to your brother. And you don't make a debt unpayable. Yahweh knew, even from the beginning, that the banker is the lowest form of life on earth. They are a parasite of the highest or lowest order, depending on your point of view. Blood-sucking ticks and leeches who think they own you. But even they understand. Humanity can shake them off like a bad case of fleas. on how true that statement is. Oh yeah. Sucking and sucking and sucking, sucking up all you can suck and suck. I'm working up under my patience and like a little pig. A little parasite. Suck me dry. Leave no mineral in the marrow. So yeah, I 
I mean, we've all reached a point where we cannot comply <laughs> with a government that has targeted uh, the, the public as a, uh, as a terrorist threat. How can you continue to serve a system that wants you dead? Hmm? That's why I am applauding some of these guys who are uh, really drawing a line in the sand. I mean, they're done. They're, they're done. Kokesh, he's done. He's ready to go to prison. He doesn't care anymore. He cannot comply with a criminal, out-of-control government that has labeled the people the enemy of the state. How can any of us, you know, be so cowardly to continue serving a system that wants you dead? Tired of this. I'm, I'm feeding an overgrown tumor. Three hundred pound man, half his weight is one great tumor. And that's what the government's become one giant parasitic tumor. Killing the host. We gotta stop complying with this nonsense, people. I mean, we, <laughs> they are provoking a civil war. And am I saying shots fired? No, no. Let them fire the first shot. What I'm saying is stop complying with the illegal orders. Stop, you know, stop feeding a beast that wants you dead. Stop. Recall your consent. Oh, but I want my Starbucks. I want my Pizza Hut. I want my McDonald's. I need my cable TV. Look, this stuff is not helping us. It's only hurting us. I don't want to lose my little bird cage. We've got to stop this, people, or we are all going to die cruel and miserable deaths. Read the book of Lamentations, friends. Read the book of Lamentations, because that's our future. We have been left with no future. We've been sold out by our parents. We've been sold out by our grandparents. We're left holding the bag a hundred years of Bolsheviks. Creeping Bolshevism. Even the so-called Fabian socialists knew that at a certain point the guns have to come out. Knives out, teeth gnashing. You're dead. I want you to think about that. Come on.